Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Yeah. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. Nah. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a shot. Mad Liberian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Capping like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Dog. Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Be truthful yeah. with yourself, you know you ain't messing Stupid with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. How? And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Do you love the Lord? Well, if you do, man, head on over to UT Nights, man. Use code form to get 5% off all your muck coin needs, bro. And get the God Squad that Jesus wants you to have, man. And, and just keep supporting me by buying coins, boy, before I catch you in a dark alley and beat plasma out your ass. All, 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 all praise due to Jesus, man. Go do what Jesus wants you to do, man. Use code form at checkout and get 5% off all your muck coin needs. God bless. What's happening, Ducky Bone, man? We back on the Madonna with another banger for y'all boys, man. Oh, uh, so I find I went up against the dub, 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 dubby defense, and that shit gave me hell, bro. And y'all gonna see it in this video. Of course, y'all know I'm in five wide. So I played it before, but this is the first time I played somebody who was actually good in it and not scared. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by scared, you may play a person. They running the dub defense, but they only sending five trying to get sheds. They not sending the crib, just putting the pressure on you type shit. And this video, like, my old line low-key reverted back to motherfucking, uh... Why the fuck is that popping up? Oh, but, uh, my bad. I just had got a notification on a random one. But, yeah, my deep, my old line reverted back to Madden 23. Just dumbing out on some on some goofball shit, bro. So let me know if you, like a lot of people want the loop to be patched. I'm not one of those people because like with match defense being broken uh, to a large extent, and that was a really good play by me. Match defense being broken and everything else. If you don't have the loop, it's hard to play defense, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I manage. I do my motherfucking thin thing. You figure deal me, but it's tough to play defense when 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 match coverage and shit like that's not working. So the loop gives people a way to get stops, pressure the quarterback, all that good shit, bro. So I ain't really for uh, patching it. You know what I'm saying? As we send an a gap of our own, uh, like we like we just gonna figure it out like a Madden player always supposed to. That's my biggest thing. With Madden in general, that's why I love it so much because it's a figure it out game, bro. Like you can't cheese your way all day on Madden. Let, let me pause it. Smash the like button. Niggas cheese, yes. But what I'm saying is you can't cheese your way out of learning how to stop and beat certain shit. You know what I'm saying? You eventually, in order to be good this year, you're going to have to figure out how to stop the loop blitz. Loop blitz. And I, I kind of got it in my mental mind how to pick it up. But what I was doing this game, it was working sometimes. But I think I got something else that's in the mental mind after uh that, that I'm going to use to kind of be a lot better against it. You know what I'm saying? Also, boy, I went and watched uh Equalizer 3 with Denzelian. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He was out here equalizing shit, something crazy. So, look, question of the day. Is you going with Jonathan Wick as we get us a stop on fourth down? Actually, uh, before I ask that question, just it's a tendency staying, guys. That's what I always tell y'all. I individually shade this dude to the inside. I mean, to the outside. So, he plays this in route. You can individually put assignments on by hitting. Let me get a controller in my hand because I do this shit like off muscle memory y a brings up individual x was megatron so i hit x and then i press the left stick inside or outside for outside shading so you you can individually shade p 
people based on, you know what I'm saying, if you play playing zone defense on how you want to play. So I shaded him because that was his go-to right there, and he breaks on the ball, and we get a stop. But, yeah, Jonathan Wick or Denzeli in Washington, bro? I personally, John Wick versus Equalizer. Real talk, I don't even know this nigga real name. We just know he just be out here equalizing shit. I'm going with Denzelian, for real. One huge Denzel fan. Feel like he the greatest actor of all time. But I'm going with Denzel. This is why niggas be belicking Jonathan, bro. They be fuck, 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 tearing John ass up. So right here, he's not in. Um, he might be in it, but uh, yeah, I think this drive he kind of mixes it up to kind of figure out where he wants to go defensively and then once he decides it becomes a, a hell game of all hell games but yeah denzeli and be extra blinking shit down you know what i'm saying john wick be getting popped and, and hit and stabbed niggas don't touch the equalizer bro and he be out here just you will hear some shit like oh it's 30 on one this ain't fair and then you hear well let's equalize it then Fuck, fuck, fuck! Denzel ain't out of nowhere. He ain't never said that, but in my mind, that's a line he used in his head before he stared his watch. Let's equalize it. Boom, and then get the whooping shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, 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 I'm going with uh, Denzel in. <laughs> the equalizer over Jonathan Wick. I write, But it's like, Jonathan Wick right here, equalizer right here. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. The movies is just good movies, bro. I need them niggas to team up, man. Oh, that'll be so goddamn fire. Ooh. But, yeah, uh, another question. Let me know what type of videos y'all want to see. Y'all asked me to do the no money spent, and that shit don't get no views, bro. Like, I'm going to keep the no money spent series and just upload it on Sundays. Yes, uh, right now my views is down by a couple thousand. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping off that. The views will come back with the content. But I just don't want to give y'all regular ass content, bro. Uh, moving back right here. So this look like a fofo -fo split. So when I seen this, I said, hell yeah, I'm going to destroy you on this, bro. So when I seen this look, the uh, cover three or just the cover one whole uh, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to be able to run. Well, it was cover three because when I motioned over, nobody followed. Um, he kind of, like, he ended up switching it up crazy, bro. Like, yo, that's why I always tell people, yo, for the first drive against somebody is not an indication of, they, of how they play. Because defensively, I'm like, yo, he not going to be able to stop me. But then he switched over to the dubby shit, and I'm like, ooh, and that's what makes ebook so crazy. Because it'll take a player who isn't, like, that good, and it'll take they shit to the next level, for real. It'll take your game to the uh, ebook. you know what I'm saying? Because especially the, uh, nowadays with man defense being so good, you don't have to make adjustments. And to me, uh, adjustments, like, is what separated really good Madden players from everybody else. But when man defense is the meta, you don't have to make a lot of, you don't have to do a lot of thinking for real. Now, you still got higher tier players who play man defense with good adjustments on the backside as I missed that pick for some random reason. But as a whole, nah, bro. Like, nigga, if you, if you got a good zero blitz that you picked up from somewhere that, that just screams like the W shit do, it makes uh, adjustments, uh, it take it to a whole different level, bro. It make your shit be crazy you look not you look crazy on the game and then i had to send pressure while well, i felt like i needed to send more pressure this game because he was running this bunch which cancels match but it's also a bunch that allows me to be a lot more effective with the blitz you know what i'm saying so i was mixing it up giving him uh blitz looks coverage looks just trying to keep him off balance and but uh dog he his offense was nice defensively he didn't really like make many adjustments he was heavily dependent on the uh on the sheds and the pressure but that's the name of the game we play this year as i miss another lurk by half a second that's just the name of the game a lot of y'all don't like it but like i always tell y'all bro just adjust to the game man what the game give you is what the game give you bro you take the shit and you move on and you keep playing i'm not somebody who gonna overly 
uh, gas the fact that I can't do this and I can't do that. Right there, that was the perfect defense, bro. This is the only place I fluffed up, right? So, I know based off defense, I don't have to worry about this left side of the field. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about it initially off the height. I need to check the right side and then get back middle. So right here, I check the street uh, from him. I see already this backside dead coming. So it's basically on Manti Teo. I want to see what he going to do. And then that's going to dictate how quickly that I have to get back here. He drops back a little bit to help a, little, a real one out. But I need to turn and get back downhill. So I turn. I get back downhill. He can't throw this unless he highballs it. And that's a little bit too risky. So when I get down here, I'm in perfect position. The one mistake I made is I turned to pass him off when I should have just straight left and then ran. When I made this turn, it was cooked for me because acceleration-wise, I'm never going to get back there to play that route. It's, it's really good defense, but it was just one mistake in my fundamentals, you feel me? Soon as I turned, because I didn't need to turn, period. I was passing him off to Ray Lou. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't need to turn it. Even though linebackers don't jump, they play the ball way better than they did last year. So I was still going to be able to make some shit shake and get a knockout or something as we hit dog with the QB draw. So this is kind of where he starts uh, really getting into the uh, the dub shit with the, uh, with the shift in. You know what I'm saying? And then just sending everybody when I would motion across is when he would bl uh, blitz him also. So I, I, I just I just had just like basically 6-7 all game. Right there, we pick it up a little bit, and I don't know how slush. I, did Sherman play for the Bucks? Maybe that's how. But my issue is going to be my guard play in this uh, against this blitz. That's going to be my biggest issue. Now, I could have audible down a lot to uh, bunch and then kind of cooked out of that. But y'all know me, bro. Like, if this is my first time playing somebody who plays it like this, like they cool with just sending seven every rip, I have to figure out the best way for me, even if it loses me a game. I got to figure out the best way for me to block and still be able to play. I miss a read right there, but even with him mugging the gap, so technically he sent his seven. I pick it up with six. You know what I'm saying? Right here, my guard going to step up and, and knock him on his ass. My center slides, hat on the hat, everywhere on the field. This is perfect. Only where I, read where I fluffed up at, I didn't expect him to run to the corner route or uh, just play the drags. So, I actually had this for a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? I did go buy a new controller at, uh, after this game, though, because my stick drift was getting out of hand. So, I went and picked up a new controller. Because I just, uh, part of it was like, with, bad, with me having bad pocket, and then just my controller, just I'm just always drifting back unintentionally. It was making it tough, for me, tough on me. But yeah, so right there we pick it up. So I'm like, all right, cool. We 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 goo up, boy. I'm finna get the whooping on your ass uh, in this blitz. I ain't finna worry about that. I have I have him up to do something to you. So right there again. This time is where I'm like, oh shit, we in a we in a couple of pieces of trouble if this is a consistent thing, right? Again, he's going to step up and pick him left side doing a job. Watch my guards, bro. Instead of boom, boom, and him sliding out, they do what they did last year. And the guard runs up and just double teams this nigga for no reason. And he just loops right around. And because of the loop, well, that, maybe that's not because of the loop. That's because of the game with passing. It's just ass with no fearless. We just overthrow some random shit for no reason. So I'm like, all right, that, that, that might prove to be an issue. If that's something that happens consistently. So right here, boom, we, we pick it up. Corner route. So I'm like, all right. Is it, After that, I'm like, it ain't shit I can do. Now, just thinking about the game, I'm like, all right, it is going to be something that I'm going to do 
the next time I face it, instead of ID and out wide, I'm going to treat it like I treat Cub and I'm going to ID here. And then, you know what I'm saying, block opposite side, ID here, and see if that helps with my guy getting out here to pick up a little bit better. But this game, that's when I realized it's going to be some just some 50-50 type shit. Like right here, they pick up, but then they allow the loop. I hit the curl because ideally the loop coming here gives you a little bit more time, honestly, than the loop coming around the edge, I feel like. I feel a lot better facing that loop here from this far than facing a loop coming directly off the line. You know what I'm saying? So that gives me a little bit more time. He's just man defense, no adjustments, and we just hit the uh, we hit the guy right there on the curl route. Curl route's just dumb good this year. So, boom. In the red zone, cooking up. Ideally, you want to get some, but for me, my red zone offense is dookie. It's dookie. You know what I'm saying? Now, I have other sets that are better in the red zone, but again, as he gets another loop, I wanted to hit that corner route. I just was all under the realization, like, I'm just going to stay in this shit and just face the blitz all game and then try to get the ball out. If I can get the ball out, cool. This, for me, this was a figure it out type game type shit. You know what I'm saying? This is my daughter, so I'm going to have to tape it. As you can see right there, we throw it up, and then we just click on with Mega trying to go get it. Once I seen he got bumped and that created separation... We just went ahead and clicked on. Give me one second, boys. All right, we back, man. So he gonna go ahead and kick his little musty ass extra. Oh, well, that's me. Me kicking my musty ass extra point. Wow. Huh. Violated myself, didn't I? So coming back out again, trying to put pressure, give him different looks. The one thing I was doing against this look that I shouldn't have been doing, I don't spread line against Bunch. If you got the ebook of swords, you know why. But against bunch, I don't like to spread the line. I do every step, every step instead of spread line, unless, unless it's bunch tight end, bunch tight end, same setup. Uh, other bunches, no, I don't like to. But right here, we just playing kind of a, a prevent style defense. Protect over top. Let them throw the underneath. Make the tackle. If I could make it out of uh, inbounds, perfect. You know what I'm saying? So that that's really all we on right now. He just keep flipping. Him flipping really don't mean they thang you to me because you ain't finna get no big game. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna hit us with no one play tutty. Tight shit. Like right here. Throw. Boom. Wrap up. Halftime. Let's get to let's get it. We up 14-7. We get ball. If we can go down here, score again, 21 Sam. You know what I'm saying? In my mind piece, this how the game going type shit for me. We run the ball, QB draw. We this like O line went the I'm gonna just keep it above. O line with the shit in the second half. As well as we play O line wise in the first half, it's uh the part of Madden that I don't get upset about no more because it's the it's the it's the mo it's the part that you can't really control, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be games where, where shit get crazy as we hit the nice corner route. You know what I'm saying? Doing our thing. Efficient on offense. Taking care of the ball. You know what I'm saying? Putting good adjusties on the field. If I could take back anything, it's this. On first down, and I'll do it throughout the uh, remainder of this game, I would run the ball and stupid shit like this would happen. This is all right, and, and this is the part where people where I understand when they get pissed at EA because EA sells us bullshit that they don't really put in the game for real. Watch 30. You know what I'm saying? And I don't get upset, but I understand why others do. He's coming straight downhill. This should be your only responsibility. You block him, bro. I'm cutting up the field. I'm going wherever the hell I want to. Where does he go? He's going, he completely ignores this nigga, and he's running out here to gr uh, block one of them. And what happens, boom, we end up getting hit in the backfield. So that type of shit, I be understanding people's anger. I don't get angry about it because I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't expect EA to do a lot of shit that they say. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I like this Madden? Yeah. Do I understand coding and all that is hard as hell? Hell yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? As we free form right over his head because he made the same mistake I made early of just uh, committing to one uh, 
one particular route instead of just strafing up. But yeah, I like the game and I, I understand sometimes EA be fluffing up. You know what I'm saying? O-line targeting as far, as far as the run blocking, that shit's still terrible. To be real with you, if it's not an RPO, I genuinely feel like the run game is just as bad last year as it was this year. Like, all the shit they were saying about the AI and AI recognition and you ain't going to be able to... Oh, that shit's some bullshit to me. You know what I'm saying? Even right there, that's just... uh My guy's just just missing blocks, you know what I'm saying, another case of it, so we get to a third and 11, right here is uh, just about being smart, trying to go up multiple possessions, holding that multiple possession lead, so we can get to the, uh, get back on the defense, right here, that's, by, that's bad pocket, and that's, that's that dumb ass stick drift that I got, like right here, I'm just taking steps back, but I'm not trying to take steps back, but I'm also not pushing up on a uh, controller, so it's personally my fault too. Cause when I like when I when I'm making reads like right there, I didn't mean to do that shit. But when I'm making reads and I'm and I'm reading the field, I'm just not constantly pushing up on the controller. I you know what I'm saying I, I I just don't I don't know why. And then we just end up taking a couple steps back, and I didn't want to throw that crosser because I knew I was gonna get an inaccurate because I didn't pocket climb. And that shit was going to be a pick. So, we just, I just threw the ball away and took my three. That's not some shit that I can be upset about because, you know what I'm saying, that that, that was some shit I did wrong. Like, that, that low-key, that would keep a nigga sane on the game, bro. Like, dog, you just got cheated. No, that was my fault. You know what I'm saying? That was me. Keep, keep, keep my sanity on the mat, on, on the Madonna so I can record all these game plays, try to get y'all this content. Right here, he tried to scramble with Moon. Good saccharoni and cheese. What ends up happening in this game, uh, as this game goes on, I'm I'm rushing three uh, a little bit too much for my for, for for my own liking. And what happens is it creates pockets like right there. I can't make that throw, bro. I don't know who y'all be paying. That shit is thrown in the dirt for me. But. Um, what ends up happening in this game on the, in the second half? I just played a little bit too much coverage, like and then it opened up those type of rush lanes. That's just a great play by him. I thought he crossed the line, so I came down to make the tackle. He was like a half yard from crossing that line and through the crosser. You know what I'm saying? We're playing match coverage, so you know how that go. Um, I should have made an adjustment so my third didn't leave though. But you know what I'm saying. If a if was a fifth, we all be drunk. You know how the game go, my boy. So right here again, playing a couple of pieces of uh, offense again. I throw the ball away, take the intentional grounding, completely piss myself off right there to, to keep it a buck with you. Because now I'm in a situation where I got to push the ball upfield a bit more so he can be way more aggressive in how he, how he defends. You know what I'm saying? So it, you'll even see it right here. He sends the pressure. I'm stick drifting back like a dummy again, and I can't throw that uh, wheel route up the sideline even though I got it. I'm stick drifting like a whole damn fool, and, I, and like, a, like a dummy, I'm not pushing up on the stick. You know what I'm saying? Right here, hit the corner route, boom. I thought I had the first down. That looked first down to me. But, you know what I'm saying, EA said I didn't. So, uh, fourth and one, I got to pick up a first, and I'm going to keep it a buck. He switches to 3-3 uh, three, three Cub. I don't like my route combos right here, and this is why. It's a fourth and one, bro. I don't need this streak because I'm not running a clear out. The only reason that I went streak is because I overplayed this thinking he would go hard, flats, uh, a lot of flats. And well, he wouldn't have a lot of over-the-top coverage, which he didn't. You know what I'm saying? But he manned up freaky reeky. So right here, boom, unfortunate type shit. I got him beat over top. He's about to stack him, create separation. I have X coming wide open, or I'm a heat. My his user has to pick between these two crossers. But then this nigga gets folded and knocked to the ground. 
And that's what happens, bro. That's my turnover. Like, that's just bad luck. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. That's terrible luck. I rarely see anybody get pancaked off the line like that. Like, my guards got destroyed, knocked to the ground. That would have been an easy pick em up even though I did, I felt like I had too many routes that took too much time to develop. I didn't put enough, like, uh, I should have went digs and curls, etc. like that. I still had shit get open. But when your, when your guard get insta-pancaked, shit, boy, it, it, it's about curtains for you. You might as well just hand dog ass the ball. And then right here, I had a lurk set up, but this bumping shit, bro. I tried to get to the next level. Because I knew that's where he was going. And I get stuck into that receiver and got called for it. Even, and I still dropped the damn pick. You know what I'm saying? Right here, he tried to step up. That's good defense. But <sighs> when you have an opportunity in this game to create turnovers, bro, if you don't do it, yo ass cooked, boy. Like, you really is cooked out here. So, it, it, it get tough. You know what I'm saying? Right there, boom, we finally... I forgot the goddamn... I'm, I'm, I'm going to fix it in the post-edits, bro. But I shaded underneath on the Jalan Ramsey. He went wheel, and we were there to pick it off. Damn, I forgot to take that out, bro. Oh, I hate when I do that. But it'll be fixed in the post-edit. So right here again, boom, hit the curl route. Good shit. Pocket still trash though, but I got an opportunity to put the game away. A long drive where I go get seven because what happened in previous drive don't matter because well it matters because it took points off the board, but I got the ball back. You know what I'm saying? So right here we're gonna go. Uh, this was a terrible play call too. Remember what I said? What I kept doing on first down? If this nigga is blitzing seven. A halfback draw is blew up in the goddamn backfield. You know what I'm saying? But, I, like, it, like that's just a dumbass play call, for real. So, we end up getting blew, in the back, blew up in the backfield. Gets us to a second and 14. You get somebody to a second and long situation. You're going to try to uh, send the hounds at him. Again, I don't ideally like the play call. Because it's more of a one-two type uh, a read. Uh, I'm looking for the curl. If I don't have a curl, I go corner route. It works out that time. But again, watch watch my guard work, bro. My guard work was so 50-50. Right here, he sends them. Everybody else does their job, bro. Except for this guard, like Mankins. He shifts to the right and just lets dog walk through. Like that wobbly ass pass. So I'm t I'm tight about that because I know shit like that is gonna come back to hurt. You know what I'm saying? Again, first down. What do I do? Run. What do uh my guard do? He don't block. He let him walk through, bro. Like O line play is still very bad. You know what I'm saying? They do a great job of picking up uh if you block a running back. You know what I'm saying? But again, then my other guard, I got the drag of swords, man. Wide the hell open. Watch my other guard work, man. Shifts to the left. Never comes over. Now the game has completely shifted. You know what I'm saying? Because before where I was able, where we was pushing up, sliding and grabbing, blocking, suplex and shit. Now we not doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just the random, random things in the game you can't really control. Shit going to happen when it happens. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm finna go. Don't like this route combo at all. I like it a little bit more now. I go ahead, boom, curl route. Fourth and 11, we overthrow the curl, curl route. I'm, like, I'm going right back to the shit. So I'm, I'm putting my adjusties on the field. Uh, I got, I'm going to curl route him. I'm going to streak Jerry, right? So as you can see, I right here, I, I made a mistake and drag Jerry. Then I fix it. I go to throw my curl. I, I, this is my, this, it's my fault and it's, it's bullshit. I should have checked my play art before I hiked to make sure the adjustment went through on both. But it didn't. You know what I'm saying? So that's on me for not double checking the adjusting. It, like, Because I threw the ball as soon as he got to the first down marker, expected for him to turn and break down. 
Instead, this nigga was a whole, on a whole goddamn street, man. So right here, he goes to run the ball because he, he's just trying to kill this clock and get a tug, win the game. And I was at this point, I was just pissed, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Boy, cause look, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. And then this, oh, this, this pissed me off. He runs this. He throws a high ball contested C route and he catches it. Like I'm playing Madden 23 all over again this game, bro. All over. This is what this game was, bro. This shit felt like Madden 23. Right here, we end up stopping dog. I'm like, all right, and then I make. I think I get a little bit too adjusty right here, and I don't get into the gap. He ends up scoring, and I just quit. You know what I'm saying? I just turned the whole motherfucking game off, and and I, I forgot what I did. Though. I think I just went and laid down on the couch, man. My motherfucking stomach was hurting now. But yeah, man, appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. You just gotta take the shit how it come, bro. Man, ain't gonna always rock with you, but some days they gonna show you mad love. Peace.